four saw it. Like, what, what's going on, bro? I don't know if y'all caught the last set. We couldn't have had that break go for very long. I was way too hype. Nice was way too hype. I'm pretty sure y'all were way too hype. Way too hype. Let's see what's gonna go on next. We have losers finals. Uravani, who was playing like an absolute demon last game. A demon! Another absolute monster in cycles. I mean, like, hey, yo, I'm ready. I'm hyped. Forget all the talking. Tell these guys to start now. Tell them. Yeah, ready, start now. Brother. I am Tell ready. Them. Ooh, so we are seeing oh, Irvani okay, versus that's, yeah, Darkus. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. Irvani versus Darkus, right we saw. This first game, a loser's finals. I mean, like, what, what's your prediction, nice? Because Uravani got some mad momentum, and Darkus, you know, slash Cycles is coming off of a loss. You know, Uravani, power to him. Blessed be his name. He's not on the hammer right now. And, uh, nah. you know, he, he even said in Hog that. So, or that Jayon was his best chance. Darkus is, I mean, just, it's scary. Both of these players Three, on Death Jester, two, not one, even the skin, ball. just like his presence. So, I I honestly think that that Psychos has this. Um, you know, Uravani is an amazing player still, though. I, you saw how high I was. I love watching exactly. Hammer. <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> you could really. Can, yeah, I, <clears throat> I mean, like, I almost forgot you were sick for a second. I'm not <laughs> Uh, well, you know. right now, another close game, you know, off to a good start once more. Cycles, eating out, repeating, oh my god, getting mad. Oh my Ooh. lord! Who does that? What Bro, was Reggie that? Who, who does that? He just he hit him with the side light and literally reverse NSIG. Like, he could have gotten hard punished there. If he just spot dodged, he could have, like, woken up and gravity canceled. No, nah, he just knew he was going to dodge in again because he caught his dodge in twice before that. Uravani not mixing up his dodges right now, but is going to even up the stocks without taking any damage on his second. Darkus is sitting high and pretty right now with his great sword, you know, KOing Uravani very quickly. Um, I mean, like, Uravani you know, hitting massive damage, oh. though. Jesus. Kareem. Hitting the five piece, not catching Darkus' landing. And oh he's going to win neutral oh again. God. He barely... Okay! I was going to say, he did not read the dodge in, but it did not matter. Uh, his dodge just didn't come back in time because he stayed in the air for that entire combo. So, yeah, Darkus is going to lose the second stock that quickly. I mean, and like, Irvani that's... in the lead now. That is insane. There's that momentum from last game coming out. Definitely getting a lot of massive damage. Cause juggling him right now. Irvani oh. can't get to the ground for the life of him. Struggling against that sword. Finally touches Earth. I'm trying to reverse the juggle. Maybe not. Nah, wasn't able to do it. Not able to find too many hit cycles, getting himself back into the game in pretty quick fashion. Throwing out that N6 just as a threat, not really to a hit. If it can, ooh, oh. Urovani probably trying to catch him, but forgot it turned into a bridge. You know, he. Ooh. Oh, there we go. All right, Psycho's gonna run up and get the N6. Yeah, both these players are. They're, they're either like whiffing horribly or they're going on a crazy five or seven piece. Uh, you know, there's exactly. so far damage is trading, but it's all combos. You know, we're not seeing that many one or two hits. Uh, or at least if we do, it's usually into a read. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about Oh this. my god, Darkest there's the read. Me down. There there's we go. The read. Barely oh not hitting god, that recovery, is... though. Gonna hit the dare into end light, side light, end light. Jeez, the end to show off the rocks. We already know, Man. you know, oh, oh, okay, whoa. Oh whoa. no. I lost oh, my no, train of thought because on. something just appeared on my screen, something evil. I was not expecting that. Uh, Darka's on the level 100, Mako. Interesting. I'm gonna be completely honest. This man is a demon on this legend. He is the shark of sharks and he doesn't play this legend anymore, but trust me, he hasn't forgotten. He oh, may not no be. He'll tell you he's not the greatest on guitars. Forget that. You see, once that's once that great sword comes out, once he starts putting those signatures in, and once he gets to going, this game is about to be bloodbath. Let's one, see if Uravani can hold him off and even beat him and punish him for using a squishy legend. Let's see what happens. Obviously, we talked about it before. Mako does have just a little bit more, you know, dexterity and movement speed. Uh, it looks like he went to the three platform map for a reason. We know Mako is good with these slide charges. You can really mix up your opponent with them. It's similar to, you know, Rayman side sig on Axe. I mean, look at that movement. 
Mako is definitely the movement greatsword, and Garka's is showing that he still knows how to play it. Uravani trying to get anything on the corner, going to be hitting another Sare. Uh, is not able to ledge camp though because of the greatsword recovery into Nair. Just and Darkus is building up him. good damage. Very good damage, but he's taking all of the damage from very minimal engagements. Uravani capitalizing on every last one of them, getting the dare. There we go. Up. Right now, I mean, like, it's still a close game, but Uravani definitely does have a clear advantage from the damage he is able to build up. Not only on that sword, but because Mako is so squishy and Alien has so much attack. It's like a very scary game if you keep getting hit like Cycles is not really able to find any hits either. It can become frustrating very quickly. Looking for those side sticks, probably trying to replicate that love tech from that game that you lost. <laughs> no, no, maybe. You know, Ooh. this is... Oh, Uravani just... Okay, that was weird. He he DI'd, it looked like he DI'd off the wall, but he actually just DI'd off of the 2D version of it, not the 3D version of it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Keep in mind, Terminus is a map in competitive pool. <laughs> this is uh, this is actually a thing, guys. I promise this isn't a joke. We're not playing on, you know, all maps. We didn't mess up the tournament setup. This game just has a um, very interesting taste in uh, map picks. Next and by game, we're going to end I up mean, on uh, Twilight uh, Grove. 1,000%. Best <laughs> tourney map ever. <laughs> But well, right now, you know, both players trying, having a little bit of a hard time finding attacks and definitely trying their best not to get hit by too much damage. Ravani securing a little recovery there, not enough to KO. You have to remember. Ooh, good Sir. Sir is going to take him out. We see both players playing really smart underneath the platforms, kind of the safest place to be on this stage, especially if you're going to be fighting, you know, like a Mako with slide charging or just a Jayon with his quick options. It's it's nice to have some sort of comfort above you, and both of these players are showing that they know how to play that. And Darka's doing a little bit of a passive game right now, just running away from Uravani, hoping to get any damage right now. He is at a stock disad. Uravani not falling for the end sig, and Darka's just slight charge side sigging off the wall for whatever reason. Ooh, getting punished for using that side, that, that GC side stick. Not a major punish, but still a punish nonetheless, pushing him back. Uravani <laughs> right now is just playing perfect punish game and getting as much extra credit as possible. Really, he could take the stock if he wanted to. But all of this damage he's building up, it's great for him right now in this situation. You have to remember, this is Terminal 3 maps and the highest ceiling you've ever seen in your entire life because it's not going to KO. It's just not going to do it. And Great Sword Recovery isn't like it used to be, but that D-Sig still Oh, and it barely through. takes out. That barely took out. Darkus has been sitting in orange for a while now. Uravani not able to build up the damage to get any sort of KO. Uh, well, Darkus just slowly builds it and was able to take Uravani out with... I, I, I don't even think that would have taken out. The side light, D light, D light is going to hit Darkas and knock him off stage. Cosmic's tech, by the way. That's there he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. And D light recovery. Uravani taking a beautiful game on Terminus. Oh my god. And I, mean, I like, expected that. That was. <laughs> I mean, like, let's be real. I'm probably a bit rusty on the Mako. Maybe I hyped it up too much and he crumbled under the pressure. Who knows? Who knows? But, you know, 1-1, one, one, it's going to be, they, they're telling us that it's going to be a good set off the jump, letting us know how it's going. And, I'm, I mean, like, Uro Ronnie looks like he really wants to go up for a chance at Grands, at winning against Love to get that run back. And so does Puzz switching back to the yard. Maybe Three, that Mako two, just wasn't one, the pick. Bro. And he can find something here against Uravani in this third game. Let's see. I don't think it was the pick at all. Mostly because Uravani doesn't seem to fall for, you know, the, the slide charge D sig or slide charge yeah. side sig kind of tech on that map. Uh, so he's going to just be sticking to the basics. A nice stop there, almost hitting the end sig, but it's going to be interrupted by the weapon throw, throwing Uravani back up in the air. But Uravani's going to get a nice little four piece, not hitting the finisher. Darko's uh, hitting the stomp into nothing. I know he did not expect to hit that. Nope. And the end sig is going to take out the weapon throw, barely passing through him because he had a hitbox close enough to Uravani. Uh, please fix that. I, I do not like weapon throws. <laughs> Anyways, uh, enough of what I don't like. Uh, I'm I'm thinking what Darkus doesn't like. He does not like Irvani right now. Taking that game off him on the Mako, he's trying to keep any sort of advantage. And switching back to the Magyar seemed to be the move too, because that damage that he builds on Hammer from those minimal engagements, which is really where Irvani was shining last game. 
was those minimalistic engagements as he gets to side six. You know, those one or two hits that he used to put Darkos off track, they really have been the thing keeping him in these games, and it just worked really well with Mako. She just couldn't take the hits, but as you can see, Magyar is taking a lot more punishment there, because Cuz is getting hit a lot more than Uravani is, in my opinion. Oh my god, going for- Oh! Oh, yes. oh and that carry was off the top! Uravani with a crazy combo, hitting the end into the chase dodge up Nair. Darko's losing, he was in like, what, orange or yellow or something? Who Off the top? Yellow, Chief. Wow, Off the top okay. On the sword. You know, remember whenever I said earlier that uh, there's been a lot of stocks being lost to Dark Red? Well, I'm, yeah. I'm lying. I'm just lying because Irvani knows how to KO on Jay on the sword off the top like that. A very beautiful combo, and he's keeping Darka's on the back rope right now. Oh my Filling god. Filling up some nice damage, gonna hit another NSIG, going for the GC, but it's not gonna Absolutely connect. Absolutely And Darka's waking right now. up at a horrible time. Irvani oh my god, just he just not just his... Oh, oh my god. gosh, could this be a two-stop for Irvani? Oh my god, Darko can't find anything. He can't find anything. Oh. He's dead. He's, He's dead. dead. He doesn't wait, wait, He's wait. Magyar, Magyar lose everything, right? No, 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 no. He literally, <laughs> you know, he rubbed against the wall, but he just did not hit it close enough to get the collision in it count. Magyar almost lived there, and Uravani two stalking Darkas. And my favorite part Whoa. about that game at the very end was the absolute stone hedge stone face from Uravani, not even face. He hits him and he's like, you are dead. That's final. That's game. I'm gonna just stand here and wait for it to end. And he oh. got it. 2-1 to Uravani. Now, for anybody who's watching this, you probably don't know, but that is an upset. Like, that's an Three, upset. That two. is that One is an upset. Ball. We have people in Twitch chat, like Lavender himself coming in saying, how LMAO, <laughs> no clue, bro. No clue. I mean, I cannot discount Ravani though. He has been going crazy, crazy this tournament. And, you know, we already know he's a good player, so there's no discount there. It's just, uh, oh uh, there's God. something going on. Maybe it's the fact that Darkus' entire city doesn't have internet and he's on a hotspot. <laughs> oh that. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Irvani is cooking right now, though, he's with cold. the stare. And is that his stock? That's his stock. Waited for him to touch the wall, and he's going to be hitting the ground pound. Uravani, super clean right now on his third stock, barely taking any damage. Darkos can even it up, though, if he's able to play the hammer super well. You know, the hammer and the sword matchup isn't the best. He's going to throw away the hammer. Keep in mind, the moment hammer touches the ground in this game, it vanishes. But Gauntlets can bounce seven times and start a fam. Okay, exactly. Just remember that, guys. Don't throw your hammers away. Okay? Yep. Unless you have you another hammer prime, then you can throw it away. But that, that aside, right now, it looks like the kick that Uravani has found, and he used it prior to what he lost the stock right there. You know, a bit of extra damage from Darkos, but he learned this prior. Sword on J Yun is insane. Sword is still a good weapon. J Yun has it. He has some pretty decent signatures with it. Nothing to really write home about, but they're good enough to get the job done. And it was really working out against that hammer as nice as they can know, because on the, on the great turn, it's like, yeah, nah, we're not doing that anymore. Get that out of here. It's over. Yeah, Ur Irvani wasting his dodge with that GC, and he's going to be punished on his landing, getting a stock taken out. You know, he was in red, but he could have avoided a lot of damage near the end there. I believe he was near orange whenever that combo started to KO him. Darka Oh my is... god, he went for extra. He went for prime real estate and, oh. and messed up. Oh my god, he's cool. That's Jay Yun right there. And that is the side sig taking, wow, taking Darko's out. Uravani is clean on his stock right now. He Trying can't to take that this. On sword again. He knew he'd, he'd have hammer in it. No, Darko's going straight into the great sword. He said, forget the hammer, I'm throwing that away. I need to get this damage. And Uravani is taking all of that damage in orange. You know, in red, Uravani just gives away Oh the my over. lord! Darko said, screw you. I'm taking this game back. He wanted to go to a game five. He was not letting Uravani get the upset twice in a row. I, I'm i not sure exactly what happened there. I do know that I just got kicked from the game. <laughs> <laughs> they, probably, they probably thought you were casting on your party with information. That's why I'm still here. Totally the reason that happened. Um, totally anyways, so... <laughs> anyways, Definitely so... not a bug. Definitely not a bug, you know. It's perfect. Three, it has two, flaws. one. And this match ball. should have zero flaws. Game five, if I am not mistaken. Yes, this is game and five. It is two two right now. We're game five, and I, I believe this is 
Going to a game five in losers final, like you know, like we were saying earlier, we have some hype matches, we have some powerhouses. These players don't spar often, so you know it's not often we get to see them fight, especially Irvani. I've never seen this guy fight anybody, but like, he's showing me that I need to watch his spars more. One hundred percent, and you should watch his YouTube channel too. I mean, like oh, he's, a, he is a tuber, totally tuber. Um, trust me, trust me. A good guy fun guy you should watch him and as he gets a good little fun guy combo there a good delight recovery on the sword not because the ko but you know it builds you some damage trying to find those attacks still sticking with the sword anyways and he's still getting that damage on cuz oh my god did he, Ooh, wow. and he just oh, no. he did a short hop and then instantly gc'd to spot dodge his signature and then immediately threw his signature out that was a crazy wake up by Darka's, some sort of wake up punish, I don't even know what to call that, but uh, he took Irvani's stock and that's what matters, and now both players are just fighting for some, any sort of momentum in neutral, Darka's getting hit by a 3 piece, he's not going to lose the off stage, uh, oh, you know, getting back, but yeah, back. Irvani definitely would have hit that if he didn't, you know, kind of kind of fail his inputs, Ooh, yeah. yeah. That's it. And that's the delay recovery off the top. Uravani not taking too much damage on his second stock is still pretty even with Darkas. Going to opt to stay on the sword. Unfortunately, spot dodged and gave Darkas some room to get his hammer. So let's see if he can pull his hammer out. No, he's just going to throw it away. Yep. <sighs> he, he, he just doesn't have it like Uravani does, man. That's just, he, he knows what he's good at. He's a great sword player. That's why he's in the clan. Uravani. Definitely a lot more versatile than Cult is, and it's showing because this sword is keeping him in the game, and that's for sure. Darko's having hell trying to play around Ooh. it, taking up a lot of damage on himself. Magyar does have high defense, but he's not invincible. Cult needs to remember this because he is taking major hits right now. Major, I think major, major hits. Darko's needs to play a little oh bit more patient. He's He just keeps kind of giving Uravani ways to attack or ways to avoid him by you know going a little too fast that was a nice yeah. spot dodge to avoid the side take and the stair is going to hit stacked so oh my god he's it. gonna be off stage he barely narrowly avoids that desig and darkas is fighting for stage control that dare oh is almost hit Irvani with a oh nice GC side light on unarm just to get any sort of stage control. He, he and he's going to just he throw the raw side sig. He knew Uravani was going to panic because, you know, every single time that Darkas has come in with a move, Uravani has jumped. I want you to keep in mind, exactly. Uravani is a jumper. He's pancaking. If you know what that means, he's pancaking. No, no, we're not going to make that a term. We're not, no, we're not doing it. It is a term. It is a no, term. No, we're not making it a term. Let's let it go. And Urafani <laughs> doesn't want it to be a term. He's <clears throat> taking out Darko, the man, the man who is making him get accused of such heinous crimes. And right now, you know, the pretty, pretty close last stop. You may, you may say, are you blind? Yes, I have blind. So I am technically blind. <laughs> but I mean, like, if you've seen these two players, like I've been seeing them, this damage lead is nothing. Darko's can definitely win this, but Uravani can at least even it up. And as we see right here, getting it oh, there we go, there we go. Players. Not going to KO Psychos off the top, but he is so low. Going for the delay recovery, not going to hit. Hitting a side light. This is this is turny stock. This is game five turny stock. Darkos is waking up with some crazy stuff, trying to get any sort of damage. Oh, hitting the dash jump, Sarah. Uravani and Darkos are both on their last hit right now. Last last damaging hit. Or, you know, last forceful hit. Uravani throwing away his weapon. He takes for no reason. Center stage, and Uravani's gonna get hit by it again. Darkos is in his brain right now. He's he's tickling his prefrontal cortex and he's saying i know you're gonna jump boy i know you're gonna jump and he does it twice in a row and darkas is going to reverse the upset that uravani was about to get on him and go to grand yeah his mic just completely peaked out because of how insane that was right there